how do you how are you able to kind of compartmentalize and like well get good work done you know <laughs> well my beginning was that uh you know I wasn't I wasn't the greatest musician and I was always hanging around with really good musicians so I was always getting kicked out of the bands and berated for not practicing and you know, not, <laughs> knowing, not knowing where the end of one was you know all these things but I my passion for music just said like okay what I'm going to do is I'm just going to be by myself in a room and learn how to do everything myself so nobody can give me shit because I know there's something in me. I know that music's the most important thing for me. And it seems like the whole world likes music. I want to do it. And I don't want to hear any flat from anybody. You know, <laughs> maybe after I'm done some stuff I'm proud of that I'll show it, you know. And so it became a necessity for me to make my own things. Okay. Yeah. Now at that time in that era, I didn't have a job. I didn't have any money. I didn't have, there wasn't, there wasn't any way to promote myself. There were no labels in Seattle. It was just all for this vision in my head that if I made these cool songs, I was going to be famous and I'd be traveling around the world and my life would be good. This was, this was how I got kind of going. And I made many body, so, many songs and many collections and albums in that stage. And then year decades later i land in new york and someone says like hey i heard you know how to record stuff you want to record me i go okay i guess so i don't i can't guarantee anything and they liked it and the next person came and so now my own music wasn't making money but i loved it and suddenly i had this job where people came to me and it was fun it was much more fun than i thought i thought i'd have no patience for anyone else's ideas when i had millions of my own yeah. i found that finding out where they wanted their tambourine levels and backing could help me with my, ah, that's an interesting way to, I've never thought to do that. So then it was like, well, my production makes me money and it's cool, pays my rent and my music doesn't. So I started kind of concentrating on my money thing and like kind of the connection thing that was coming with production. And my inner artist was struggling going like, what about me? When are you going to have time to, like just go back and like open your mind and mess around and have all those hours when you're unemployed to find new stuff. So yeah, it hasn't been easy to define all that. Right. Um, no, and that and is totally understandable.